hi everyone so let's go ahead and get started with this course uh, before we get started with this course we need to download necessary software so that we can code in those IDE Jupyter Notebook comes with Anaconda so let's go ahead and type there Anaconda once you type there Anaconda you will get this search box and uh, in the search result you need to click on here Anaconda once you click on this anaconda.com then you need to come here at the end of this uh, at the end of this uh, web page and at the end of this web page you will get there a download option uh, let me show you I think uh, it is somewhere mm. all right so what you can do here uh, individual edition and then there is download okay so once you click on this download you will get these options whether you are downloading it for Windows, Mac OS and the Linux and uh, in this lesson I'm going to show you how you can install this Anaconda on your Windows computer so for Windows we have a 64 bit graphical installer and 32 bit so the mostly Windows comes now with 64 bit so I'm going to show you with 64 bit so once you click on this 64 bit graphical installation it will start downloading here alright so this new package there it is around 500 megabyte long and it takes few minutes depends on your internet speed as well so I have already downloaded this and now I'm gonna show you how you can install it in your computer let's say you have already downloaded it and it is there in your download folder and uh, you see their name is Anaconda 3 2020 Windows 86 and 64 double click on this file and once you double click on this file it might take a little while to load it and then finally it will pop up here a window there it asks about welcome to Anaconda 3 then click on next and agree I'm gonna put here all users and then finally it asks it uh, asks about the next okay yes go ahead then you see here a default directory for this anaconda is program data and anaconda 3 let's go ahead and install it now the one thing you see here this is very important this says that advanced option add anaconda 3 to the system path environment variable this is very important I'm gonna select this so that I do not need to include this anaconda in the system path manually and if you are a beginner to the machine learning and if you are a beginner to the programming I would recommend you to go through with by clicking this add anaconda 3 to the system path environment variables now click on install now once you click on install it will start it will start the installation of this anaconda 3 in your computer so let's go ahead and wait for some time to complete this installation once it completes we will resume this video all right so the installation is completed here for anaconda now let's go ahead and click on next and with the next it says that we can also download the PyCharm although for these courses we do not need PyCharm we will be working with the Jupyter notebook which comes with this anaconda all right let's go ahead and finish it i'm gonna deselect these two options and yes now it is finished now this anaconda is installed in my computer and i'm gonna search it here i'm gonna type there the anaconda now you see with this anaconda prompt is there and the first time i'm gonna run it with the administrator mode running it into the administrator mode is really important if you run it in administrator mode you will get all the permissions to install the new packages if needed in the runtime otherwise sometimes what happens when you try to install a new package it might get failed because of the read write permission to your system so it is always recommended to open it into administrator mode once you open it in administrator mode right here Jupyter notebook then it will open a Jupyter notebook but do uh, pay an attention here a default directory is C windows and system 32 and this is not desired directory as of now so I'm gonna change it to CD and to the root directory all right so I'm gonna change it to the CD now to the root directory and then CD users 
and then finally Lakshmi that's my name there okay uh, Lakshmi and then I'm gonna uh, change it to a uh, download okay so now you see we have came here in download section and there I'm gonna create there a Jupyter notebook okay so just write here Jupyter notebook once you type there a Jupyter notebook you will see here a new uh, window will open here in in uh, your default browser and in this default browser now you see in our download section we had these two anaconda files and one video folder there and then you can create their new python files and uh, then you can get started with this new python files in the coming lessons i'll be telling you how you can use this jupyter notebook to get started your coding experience so thanks for watching this lesson i'll see you in next lesson